Okay, so from here, I, I need to get wrist control, I need to compromise his base, and we already talked about different ways to get wrist control. If I'm coming in and packing a leg, he's gonna give the wrist up when he's trying to defend. If I'm coming in and trying to get a guillotine, he's gonna give the wrist up from there. And the grip I want on the wrist, just to go over it, I don't wanna take this grip, because when I pull in with this grip, getting here isn't strong, there's no way I'm gonna be able to lift that over my head. I'm not thinking about the best grip from here, I'm thinking about the best grip from here, right? And this is gonna be the best grip from here. So, however I get the grip, I'm starting out with that thumb down grip, okay? I'm gonna double up on it, and in this case, when I pull, he's gonna stay heavy back. So I pull, he stays heavy back. From here, I'm just gonna take my legs out, put them on the hips, and then I could throw this triangle up, but when he has it stuck there, how do I deal with that? I'm gonna take the outside leg around to the back of the trap, right? If I'm just holding here and I try to pull that around, just hold my leg, don't let it go, right? If I try to pull that around, he has tons of mobility there, okay? But look, once I stick this heel into the back of the trap, it's like an Americana feeling. And then I'll be able to lock that triangle up, okay? so. We're here, I could be trying to get a hold of the head. Boom, I get grip, I get grip. I pull, he stays very uh, base out. Feet to the hips, stretch him away. Wrong side triangle into the back of the trap. Americana feeling, super tight triangle. Why am I shouldn't subscribe? <laughs>